Welcome to Siemens NX for SOLIDWORKS users. In this first episode, we're going to take a look at five different things. First off, opening an existing object. Second, changing your role. Third, some customer defaults. Fourth, how to move objects in the graphics window. And finally, starting a brand new part. So here I am in Siemens NX. Right now, I am in the no part environment. In other words, I have no part open. Over on the left hand side of the screen, we are in the resource bar. And right now, it is showing me the history tab. In other words, some objects that I have worked on recently. And in the main part of the graphics area, we have our discovery center. There are a lot of good resources there. I recommend that when you have some time, check them out. So anyhow, we don't have much functionality available right now without any part open. If you take a look at the top of the screen, we have a file tab, the home tab, and the tools tab. Let's start off by opening an object. And I can click on the open icon from the home tab. It's also available in the quick access toolbar. When I click on the home button, it's going to go to my work part location. The first thing that I want to point out to you is that in Siemens NX, everything has a .prt extension. If you take a look at the contents of this folder, everything is a Siemens part file. But in the names of these different objects, there are indications that something is maybe an assembly or a drawing. So that's one thing that you want to be aware of, especially compared to SOLIDWORKS where you have a .sldprt or a .sldasm or .sldrw depending on the kind of object that you are creating. Another thing to note about the file open dialog box is this options button here. When I click on the options, it's going to open up another dialog box for your assembly load options. And the first thing to take a look at is this drop down list for part versions and load. And right now it's set to from folder. You'll probably want to use from search folders instead, especially if you are working locally to your computer. Here we have a list of folders that can be automatically searched for different objects, and you can add other additional objects to that search. But if you have the drop down list set to from folder, well, it's basically just going to go to your work part location. And then we have the scope area. And the scope area is important when you are loading different assemblies from the load drop down list. You could choose to load all components, structure only, and there's also as saved with a couple of options grayed out. So structure only, like it says, it'll bring in the structure of an assembly, but not any of the contents of that. Then there is another options drop down list for how you want to load the different components. And so for example, right now I am set to minimally loaded lightweight display. That's the default, but there are other different options like fully load and partially load. When you're trying to perform different operations in Siemens NX, certain operations require something to be partially loaded or fully loaded as opposed to minimally loaded with the lightweight display. So anyhow, those are the different load options. Let's cancel out of that dialog box. And I'm gonna start by opening up one of my different parts. Let me double click on the crankshaft part and it's going to bring it into my session. We can see that there is a work in progress in the lower left hand corner. And now the object is open in the graphics window. And right now, if you take a look at the Home tab, we have a number of different commands on here. If we go to the Assemblies tab, there are some other different commands on here, but there's not that much available. And right now, I don't have that much functionality available to me because of the role that I'm assigned. And roles, that's a big difference between SOLIDWORKS and Siemens NX. If you go to the resource bar on the left hand side of the screen, the bottom icon is for roles. Before I change my role, I just want you to note that there are just a few different icons that we have here in the resource bar. In the next video, I'll be going into those different options in more detail. But right now, I am set to a role 
and I don't get that much. One thing I recommend that you do is you change your role by going to the content group as opposed to the presentation group. The presentation group, like it sounds, that's if you are going to deliver a presentation. You probably don't need that much functionality, but if you want to do actual work in Siemens NX, you should be in a different role. And the recommended one is the advanced role. So I'll go ahead and select that. And I get a warning that this action can overwrite the customizations that have been stored in your user.mtx file. Hey, that's good. That way, the next time that you launch Siemens NX, you will be placed into the advanced role to begin with. And when I click OK, I want you to take a look at the icons in the Assemblies tab. I'll click the OK button. And now I have a bunch more commands in there. Also, I got a top border bar. And again, in the next video, I'll go more into the user interface, but there is a menu command, which gives you access to virtually all the different commands in Siemens NX, including ones that don't appear in the different tabs. So that is a good thing to have available to you. Also, we have a selection filter for when you're trying to select different objects and also a selection scope. Sometimes you want to limit the selection to maybe just your work part when you have an entire assembly open. So again, make sure to change your role. Like I mentioned, by changing the role, now there are a bunch of additional commands available in the resource bar. So for example, if I click on this button, this will go to the assembly navigator. Right now, I am in a part that only has one part in it. There's also something called the constraint navigator that's used in assemblies. And here we have the part navigator, and this is showing me the different features in the part, as well as some other additional tabs down at the bottom, like search, dependencies, details, and preview. But anyhow, the important thing is change your role so that you have more things available to you. Like I mentioned, by changing to the advanced role, we now have access to the full menu. And from here, you can go to the file command. And then down near the bottom, we have utilities and then customer defaults. And so, for example, this is where you can set for modeling. Let me go back to the gateway option. Uh, here we have our default set of units. We could change to inches if that's what we use. And there are a bunch of other different tabs in here, but you'll see that there are a lot of different selections available to you. And if I scroll down, here we have the drafting option. So for example, this is where you can change your drafting standard. By default, it is set to ISO, but I work with ASME, so let's change that. And I will click the OK button. And it says, hey, changes to customer default options do not take effect until you have restarted your NX session. Let's click the OK button. And that way we have changed one of our customer defaults. All right, now let's talk about moving the object inside of the graphics window. And this is pretty close to what you're used to in SOLIDWORKS. If you hold down the middle mouse button and move your mouse, that allo allows you to rotate the object on the computer screen. You can also use the mouse wheel rolling back and forth for zooming in and zooming out. And it's got the same mouse behavior as in SOLIDWORKS. But if you want to pan the object on the computer screen, that's going to be shift and the middle mouse button. In SOLIDWORKS, it's control and the middle mouse button. Interestingly, this is the same method for panning in Creo Parametric. All right, the very last thing that we're going to take a look at in this video, creating a brand new object. So I will go to the file command, and here we have new. It is the keyboard shortcut, Control N. When I click on that, it brings open the new dialog box. Let me go to the Model tab. And in the Model tab, here we have our different templates available to you. And you have Model, Assembly, Shape Studio, Sheet Metal, so forth and so on. Most of the time, you'll just end up using Model. And here we have the name of the file. It is model1.prt. You could change the name if you want to, and you can also change the name of the destination folder. But again, the important thing is that everything is a .prt. 
there is a drawing tab and for the drawing tab you can select what sheet size that you want to use you'll notice in this case we've got a0 a1 a2 so forth because the units are set to millimeter if you want to instead you could change this to all excuse me to inches or to all I will show all the different templates available to you but inches will just show the ones that are in inches but anyhow let's go back to the model tab we'll create a brand new part and then I will click on the OK button and now we have our empty part in the graphics window so there you have it some different tips for getting started with modeling in Siemens NX